Hello, my name is Stamford Raffles. I was born in 1781 and died in 1826. These days, I'm known as the founder of Singapore. I'm so famous that the people made a statue of me facing the Singapore River. Through the eyes of my statue, I have seen Singapore's tremendous development throughout the years from its mangrove beginnings to what it is now, a metropolis. These days, I'm standing in front of Victoria Theatre and many people try to take selfies with me. Singapore is definitely different when I first landed here. Firstly, back then, it was but a small fishing village. It was a swamp with crude atom houses and fishermen going on with their daily routine. After I had established Singapore as a British trading post, more merchants stopped by to stop and refuel and trade increased. Also, because of the strategic location, Singapore had many merchant ships and became a busy trading centre. However, there was still no sign of technology when Singapore was still in its early years as a trading centre. Mainly, the type of buildings found around the river were huts and small markets. By 1977, decades of development and lack of long-term planning in Singapore have resulted in heavy pollution in the waterways of the city-state, threatening its very survival. It was because Singapore has seen exponential growth due to its rapid development and its growing population and also a number of businesses established along its banks. This led to the Singapore River being polluted from sewage and garbage and also the byproducts of the aforementioned businesses were also dumped into the river. However, thanks to Lee Kuan Yew, the decision was made to clean up the Singapore River and got rid of the Singapore's dirty, oily waters. Now in 2016, we have a stunning cityscape with clean waters, high-rise buildings and skyscrapers, bustling with tourist activities such as the ferry services. Also, financial districts and multiple international banks such as the Bank of China were built. Restaurants were also built along the banks of Singapore River. Due to cars, Singapore River now also has bridges. In 50 years, I foresee that Singapore will become even more commercialised, with more businesses aimed to attract tourists, allowing Singapore to collect even more revenue from the tourism sector, as Singapore would want more money to further invest. There would also be more ferries, and ferries would probably be much bigger, because more tourists come in. There would also be more hotels and a large variety of ways of entertainment such as riverside performances which will further increase tourism. I am very proud to be the founder of such a wonderful and developed country. After many years of witnessing Singapore's rise to prominence, I am very pleased to see Singapore emerge from its humble beginnings to a successful nation.